A Spencerville man remains in critical condition following a Tuesday morning crash. Severe weather is expected throughout Hoosier Ohio today. And we'll introduce you to Nala, our pet of the week. I'm Taylor Brooks. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Grab your W-2s and head over to Preferred Auto on Grand Staff and Auburn. We'll do your taxes for free and apply your refund right now as a down payment on a new car or truck. Then we'll match your down payment up to $500. Preferred Auto on Grand Staff and Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local. Dependable. On demand. And now, the latest from Who's your Ohio News Channel. A Spencerville man was critically injured Tuesday after the vehicle he was driving struck a tree. A deputy on patrol found the crash station wagon just before 7.30 Tuesday on State Road 8, just east of County Road 51. 34-year-old Zachary Zimmerman was headed eastbound and apparently missed a curve and hit a ditch before striking the tree, deputy said. He was flown to Parkview Hospital in Fort Wayne, where he was listed in critical condition as of this morning. An investigation is ongoing, and it's unclear what time the crash occurred. And a Kendallville man has been charged with selling prescription drugs illegally and maintaining a public nuisance. Officers searched the residence of 55-year-old Michael Butler after buying pills twice from him. A written statement says that a number of prescription pills and paraphernalia were found. Butler now faces four felony drug charges. And a top NASA engineer delivered an inspirational message at East Noble High School yesterday. Michael Patterson is a 1978 grad of the school and spoke with current students about his role in helping ground the International Space Station, as well as the importance of believing in yourself. Patterson said teachers who allowed him to think outside the box sparked his love for science at East Noble High School. And Hoosier Ohio could experience some severe weather today. According to the National Weather Service, thunderstorms will blanket our area with a slight risk of producing damaging wind gusts even possibly a tornado and hail. The hazardous weather outlook has been issued for most of the area. And a traffic reminder, DeKalb County Road 11A will be closed throughout the day today as reconstruction continues on the I-69 bridge near exit 126. I-69 traffic will be restricted to one lane in both directions during the project as well. 11A will reopen to one lane in each direction tomorrow. And this week's pet of the week is Nala. Nala is a four-month-old pit bull who came in as a stray to the shelter. She's had all of her vaccinations, and she's a very sweet puppy who likes everyone, including other dogs and even cats. If you'd like to adopt Nala, stop by the DeKalb Humane Shelter on US 6 in Butler and visit ilovefroggy.com to see more pets of the week. And that's the news for now. Find more news at ilovefroggy.com. I'm Taylor Brooks. Have a great day. But you approved me for a car loan two years ago. Times are tough. We've had to tighten up our standards. Do you approve any car loans? Let's see. But here's some great news. I just got my bonus. If you've been turned down for a car loan, you need to see us today. Preferred Auto is the largest independent dealer in the state. So banks and credit unions want to lend us money. If you're tired of hearing no, it's time to start hearing yes. Come see us now at your preferred auto on Grand Staff next to Hollywood Video.